Hey guys, Austin here again back with the second tutorial in our Ascend Slack series. That's some alliteration for you. Um, this tutorial is going to be a lot more about how to actually use Slack. If you're not signed up for Slack yet and you don't know how to, go ahead and watch the last video and then come back to this one when you're done. In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on four of the main features of Slack. That is uh, direct messages, channels, search and pins. Um, and it's okay if you don't understand those yet. That's what this whole video is about. We'll teach you what each one of those uh, mean, basically. Okay, so I think the easiest one of these to understand is direct messages. So we'll go ahead and start off with that one. Um, as you can see over here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you have this huge panel down here. It uh, is called direct messages, or for short, DMs. Um, basically, what you can do is you can go through and you can see all the people on our team. There's a bunch of people. Um, and if you wanted to message one of them individually, you would just click on their name and message them. Um, so this is basically similar to text messaging somebody or sending them a message on Facebook or emailing them directly. Um, this is the same idea. Conversation between you and them, completely private, not visible to the rest of the team. So for example, let's say we wanted to message Autumn. Uh, I would click on her name and you can see her beautiful face down there and we can say, hey, um, so I messaged her, and uh, she will receive that message now. If she wanted to respond back, she could later. Another way of doing this is to go up to this little plus sign uh, that's right next to the direct messages uh, name right there. You can see that little plus sign. Um, if we click on that, we can search for a person on the team. So if we don't see them right away and we just want to search for someone, let's say we wanted to message Kona. I'll type in Kona's name, click on his name, and then hit go. I'll also say hey to him. <laughs> uh, okay, and then the final piece of direct messages is if you wanted to message multiple people. So let's say we wanted to message uh, Kona and Autumn. I would type in both of their names and then hit go. And then I could start messaging both of them. Hey to both of you. Uh, both of you. <laughs> And then uh, again, I would hit enter in order to send the message. As you can see, it's a common theme that uh, I'm typing into this bottom bar down here. Basically, whenever you want to send a message, you'll be typing into that bottom bar. And then when you're done, you'll go ahead and uh, hit enter and it'll send the message. Cool. So now we've sent a message to Kona individually, Autumn individually, as well as both of them together. Group DMs can uh, also include more than two people, uh, but I just used two people in this example. All right, so that's DMs. Hopefully you got a quick little taste of those. Uh, those you probably shouldn't need as much, maybe for individual talking, but for group talking, we wanna use these things called channels. The best way to think of a channel is in terms of like channels on TV, actually, in my opinion. So for example, if you wanted to watch something on a certain topic, uh, you might go to your directory and look for you know sports or for food or for movies or something like that. Uh, but let's take Food Network channel as an example. So. Looking at Food Network, obviously it's gonna be uh, some channel that has some focused programming around food, right? Same idea with uh, the channels in Slack. Let's say we wanted to get some focused conversation around inspiration. We would click on this inspiration channel. Again, uh, you can see up here that there is a nice little sidebar with the different channels listed up there. Once I click on inspiration, it brings me to the inspiration channel. And you can see that um, Jim has already posted a couple of things in here. He's written a document and stuff like that that's really cool. And he posted a nice little inspirational thing. Uh, and this is really kind of akin to sending a email blast to everyone within the channel, right? So everybody who's in this channel, uh, you can view the people who are in it, will get a notification and will be able to see what's going on inside of this inspiration thing. So for example, let's say I wanted to post a message like, hey, I found this cool inspirational uh, video. And then I would like paste a link to a video, maybe youtube.com slash uh, this is a fake video. Obviously it's not a real video, uh, but if I send it, you can see it'll actually link it all up right there. Anybody who's in this channel can uh, click on that and view the video and uh, they'll be ready to go. The beauty of these channels is that um, it's transparent. So anybody on the team can join one of these channels. Um, you are defaulted to joining a few of them. Um, and also that they're kind of the, they're searchable to everybody on the team. So it's the brain, it's really where everybody else can see what's going on everywhere else. Um, this is really where a lot of the conversation and focus talk is gonna happen. And it's really gonna open up a lot of avenues, we hope, uh, through the search and through the, the conversational aspect of Slack. 
So speaking of search, let's go ahead and talk about search a little bit. Um, as you can see, there's always this kind of ever-present search bar up here on the top right. Um, it's really, really super powerful. You just click on it, just like any other search bar, and you can see that it has these special uh, search narrowers. But for now, we'll just do a basic search. Uh, for example, let's look up these tutorial thing. So I searched for, I typed in tutorial and hit enter. Uh, and then you can see right here, Kona has shared a file, Slack tutorial, and then he commented on it. So if I click on this, it'll bring me right to the file that Kona shared. And uh, it's the Slack tutorial that I wrote. All right, so now we've covered DMs, channels, and uh, search. The last topic I wanna cover is how to view pins on a channel. So pins are, uh, you can see that they are up here. Basically, pins are a way of highlighting important messages that were sent in the channel that should be viewed by everyone. This one has zero pins, so it's not a very good example, but if we go over to in the internal documents channel, again here on the channel sidebar, uh, you can see that it actually has one pin. And so I'll go ahead and click on this pin up here, and you can see that there's one pinned item, and uh, it says important and useful link. So I'll go ahead and click on that as well. And right here, you can see, actually, it's a, it's a post. It's a nice little document containing all the links to our Google Drive folder, meeting notes, branding materials, SC fundamentals, and it'll be updated continuously as more and more important links show up. So whenever you want to view that, you can just go over to the internal documents channel, click on the pins, and then you can click on uh, the pin messages. Cool, so uh, that's how to generally use Slack. Again, if you wanna send a message, you just type into this bottom bar down here, anything you want, and then you hit enter in order to send it. And if you're having trouble deciding where to post something, uh, I've made a nice little flow chart that you can follow uh, as you're getting the hang of things. Uh, and it'll kind of generally point you in the right direction. And again, there's really no rules here. This is just kind of general ideas of how to use uh, Slack. We just want you to kind of get the feel of it uh, and then we can kind of start breaking rules as we go along. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully that clears some things up for those of you who are new to Slack. We, uh, Kona and I, both think that Slack is gonna be a really powerful tool for us to use and hopefully it will uh, help us further the conversation of our group. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching and feel free to watch the next video. Kona is going to be hosting that one. It's going to be about more kind of the intermediate features of using Slack. Cool. See you in the next one.